How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are massively, massively heating up. I mean, up by almost 350%. Yes, 350%. But these five keys, you must sell now. Like literally now. Like why are you still here? Why are you watching me? I said now. Okay, okay, okay. But before, you gotta know what the keys are. So you gotta watch this video first, and then you gotta know what the keys are. So. We're gonna look at these five keys and man, they are going up, but it is time to sell them. And I'll explain why it's time to sell them. But before I do, if you haven't headed over to collectorscomics.com, put a link up there somewhere, we are running an auction. This is our fifth auction that we're running and it's a good one. So go over there, head over there, just look around and tell me what you think at least, or bid on some stuff. All right, let's jump into it. All right, first we got is Booster Gold number one. This is the first appearance of Booster Gold. A 9.4 just a few months ago was selling for $70. Now it's up 169%, now selling for 188. A 9.6 is up 163% from selling for $96 to 253. And then a 9.8 is up 177% from 260 to $721. Now, if you guys don't know, DC just announced a whole slate of new comic book movies and TV shows, animated, things like that coming out, and Booster Gold was one of them. So you might be thinking like, oh, okay, good, I should hold on to it. It's like, yeah, but this movie's not coming out for at least two, maybe three years. So don't you think the FOMO is gonna wane by then? Of course it will. There'll be no news for at least a year of nothing happening. Maybe once in a while we'll get like, oh, a director is picked or an actor is picked or something like that. But it's not gonna happen for a very, very long time. So that is why you should sell it now. Why, if you go dig, dig deep through your closet, see if there's any that you have, just get rid of it right now. Because even if Booster Gold is your number one favorite character of all time, you couldn't possibly part with it. Just think about this, you could sell it now, and then in like a year or two, you could buy back for even cheaper. All right, next we got Omega Men number three. This is the first appearance of Lobo. A 9.4 is up 85% from $75 to $139. A 9.6 is up 56% from $109 to $170. And a 9.8 is up 69% from $266 just a few months ago, now selling for $450. So Lobo is another same one, but this wasn't announced in the DC slate of movies and TV shows. This was only speculation based off of Jason Momoa's like tweets and things like that, and just a bunch of rumors speculation. They did not announce anything uh, James Gunn did not announce a single thing about Lobo, but he did say that there's going to be more coming out, more news, but he only gave us a piece of like, I don't know, I guess phase one, let's call it that. Now, as you can see, if you look at that graph, you can see kind of like it went sky high and then it's been kind of teetering, almost going down a little bit, almost about staying the same. That's because the news is waning. So this is similar to the other book. We don't know what's going to happen. And if it does happen, it's gonna be years and years and years from now. So best to get rid of it now. We got Batman 656. A 9.4 is up 65% from 82 to 135. A 9.6 is up 146% from $61 to 150. And then the 9.8 is up 167% from $150. Now selling for $420. This is the first appearance of Damian Waynes. He also then Another him as Robin was in, you know, Batman 650, uh, 655, and then there's also 666, all sorts of stuff. Nonetheless, like before, this book, all those books have been going up a ton, you know, almost 150, 200%. But again, it's going to be a long time to see anything. So expect the book to go down. So if you have a copy, now is the time to sell it. Um, if you have it, you want to CGC it first or CBCS, whatever you choose, send it out, try to do it as fast as possible. You can like, you know, express them faster, you know, speed it up, get it back, get rid of it. I imagine these books will start going up a little bit longer, but then they'll start, start going back down to where they were before. Authority number one, a 9.4 is up 275% from $12 to $45. A 9.6 is up 25% from 80 to 100. And a 9.8 is up 340% from 125 to 550. Look at that graph straight up. So yes, this book was also announced as gonna be like a movie or something coming along as well which is you know, pretty cool. But again, this book wasn't really worth much before. So now everyone's gonna start digging through the closets like I'm telling you to do right now, and they're gonna start selling them all. And then everyone's gonna realize that there's a lot of these and they're gonna start going down and down and down and down, supply and demand. 
And that's not to say that this book won't be worth more in the future, but for this book in particular, compared to the other ones on the list, I think this is gonna be the peak for a very, very long time. Even if the movie comes out and it does really, really well and they make a number two, number three, and all that kind of stuff, then maybe it'll reach these peaks again, but it'll probably go back down to where it was around $150 for a 9.8, and then you know the movie will get closer and it'll probably bump up a little bit. Now, if the movie's good, it'll you know have more legs and go on and so forth. All right, last on the list is Weird War Tales 93. A 9.0 is up 94% from $90 back in 2019. This book doesn't sell that often to now 175. A 9.2 is up 181% from $64 to 180. And then a 9.8, the last one to sell was back in July for 608. And one just sold for almost $1,100. That is up 79%. So this is Creature Commando's first appearance, and they're doing a animated show DC is anyways this one is probably further along than the other ones I imagine that they probably already started the art production and at least because we did have an art still so I imagine they've already kind of started the process so expect this one to kind of be released first now this one's a little different from the other ones on the list the reason why is this one's not like a super common book so it's not like all of a sudden you know there's gonna be like hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands flooding the market unlike the other ones I mentioned previously, there's probably hundreds if not thousands that people have lying around that they're gonna flood the market with. This one's a lot more rare, especially if you wanna get a 9.8. So even if you look back not too long ago, this book was selling for like $650, $700, even a little bit before then, not very many sales. So I guarantee you there'll be more 9.8s coming along, but on the flip side, it was already kind of expensive before. So this one probably has your best chance of being more expensive, but I expect this one to get flooded regardless, even if you look on eBay right now, there's a bunch in auction, maybe not nine eights. And so I expect this book to drop. That's not to say that this can't start gaining up speed later down the road if this TV show or movie, whatever it's gonna be, is very successful. So those are the five keys. I honestly think you should sell them. Look through your closets, look through your comic boxes, Maybe you have one of these lying around. If it's worth submitting to one of the grading companies, then submit it. If it's already graded, great, sell it. If it's not worth submitting, I would suggest selling it anyways. You can even just throw it in an eBay auction. You're probably gonna get a pretty good price for it as the FOMO is really hot right now. So maybe other YouTube channels and all that kind of stuff are like, buy, buy, buy. Eh, I would not buy this book um, and speculate that it's gonna be huge because again, these movies and TV shows are years away two, three, four, maybe even five years away. That is a long time. And people are gonna forget about this book. So, have a great day.